Hey fam! Hi guys! It is Sam and PB and today we're coming to you with a different kind of video where we're going to share with you what we got up to at YouTube Next Up Camp. So I know this one might not be for everybody but I did get quite a few questions asking me what it was about, involved in it. I know this is something I was looking for when we went into the boot camp. So if you don't know, YouTube hold a camp every year or yeah, competition yeah, every yeah, year every called year. YouTube Next Up. But this one was a little different. They do special editions as well. I think last year the London one was like women on the rise. On the rise, yeah. So it's only female creators who could enter. This one was a little bit different and this one was YouTube Black where obviously they picked content creators who were of colour. And just the whole point of the whole Next Up movement is just to encourage creators with smaller channels to just, you know, keep on going and channels they see potential in. You should kind of partner with you to mentor you for this week-long camp which we're going to share with you today but there's a lot of other stuff that goes on as well afterwards but yeah so don't want to ramble too much we're going to get on with you know discussing what yeah, we did yeah. we'll start with day one we arrived in london on monday we had the opportunity to go on sunday night like i said we got three kids thankfully we have amazing family who were able to help us for those few days family and friends it definitely takes a village we we're able to go for the week and so we left early on monday morning to London, was it King's Cross? King's Cross, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went to our hotel, settled. So one day I'd say YouTube literally covered everything. Our transport into London, our accommodation for the week. It was definitely something that they put in a lot of support in to make yeah. sure it was a very seamless yeah. experience for us. We are here in YouTube space. Day one. <laughs> day one. Day one. Really it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> The thing I really liked when we walked in, we just have this big screen and that's the screen they use for the big creators and we all go and like, oh wow, just kind of, you know, it's kind of motivating to see big creators you watch on there. But this time the screen had us on it. I had my channel there and all of the other creators' channels there. It's like 12 channels represented. And I think that's when it really hit up. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of weird. I was like, like whoa, this is, this is for us. Yeah, because yeah. I yeah. thought that's the whole of YouTube space and they've taken up their big screen for us. And I realized, oh my gosh, Center has been focused on Next Up for that whole week, just on us. I can't say how that feels until you maybe experience it to really realize the effort they're putting in to really show you that we see something in you, we value you, and we want you to know that we believe in you. And um, it just spoke volume, you know, definitely had a little fan moment like, Mama, I made it, kind of thing. That soon settled because it was just straight into the yeah, grind yeah. and the work and the seminars and the inspirational keynote speakers. And I was going to be real with you guys and I was going to invite you into my journey and actually make you realise why this matters, why you're here. So obviously meeting the other creators and it was nice to see different kinds of creators. We were... I say we were the only family channel there, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely uh, list everyone's channels yeah, down below. Yeah, lifestyle. I don't want to forget makeup, anyone. Yeah. Like cyber nerds were like a yeah. gaming reaction, kind of reaction. Yeah, reaction, gaming. And there's a cooking channel. But just to see that we were doing such diverse content and yeah. just always reminding me there's a place for everybody yeah, on this yeah, platform, no matter what you're doing. Obviously as long as you're focused on, you know, what you're passionate about, there really is a place. And just seeing the opportunity for collaboration, even though we are so different and just the friendships we make. In my real day to day life, I mean, you know, my day job is technically, you know, a dentist. It's very far from creating content. And even when I'm around my friends, as much as they support me, they still don't get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's tough to get. <laughs> Sometimes they're still like, I support you, but I don't kind of get it. Or like, oh, well done, I love your hobby. Yeah. Even my husband didn't really Sometimes. get it. <laughs> till this week, till that week of camp, he totally gets it now. And I think for Sam, it was really interesting to speak to everyone and realize, you know, we're not, none of us are really full time or anything because it was the competitions for people with more than 10,000 subscribers. And you know, thank God, we literally just yeah, hit 10,000 yeah, exactly, subscribers. Yeah. Then under 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. It's that kind of middle ground where they're trying to just find creators who they want to help push to that next level. So everyone, pretty much everyone still had day jobs, yeah. some of them corporate jobs, and you know, just hearing their stories and seeing how similar we were, you know, go to your nine to five during the day or any other job you're doing, and then you come back and, you know, work on your passion, hustle, yeah, whatever yeah. it takes. And then I think for you, that was interesting because you spoke to people who were, you know, I think sometimes Sam thought YouTube was for people who 
only did you choose <laughs> nothing else. It was weird, like people were serious. It was you could tell it was a real passion for people, mm -hmm. they enjoyed it, they had structure, you know, every they had a vision, a plan, where they were trying to get to. So yeah, for everyone as well, they really appreciated this next up, like the next level, yeah. and everyone really grabbed it with both both yeah. hands. And it's very positive actually. It wasn't. I didn't see any kind of competition. Yeah. And just again, just great to see other colors, other <laughs> other colors, other creators like yourself. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has joined us. Our two-year-old. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Caleb. You do. Yes. So yeah. So that is real life with kids. So I'm just going to settle Caleb and then we will begin again very soon. I think one of the hardest thing was just, I was missing my baby. That yeah, I really knew, was. Yeah, you were on the phone like every five minutes, weren't you? That means I have to do a bit of work, but we love you. Can I get a kiss? Hello, Caleb. How are you? I like You were coloring. <laughs> have they eaten? <laughs> what did they have for lunch? What was their snack time? Are you guys missing mommy and daddy? It was kind of weird, probably because we were, we felt like we were supposed to be on holiday, but we weren't on holiday. And we were so close. Yeah, yeah, and we were away from them, so it was kind of like, you know, it's a bit difficult. It was a bit difficult. I know we could just hop on the train and be back home, but obviously it would be hard to do that because the sessions were so back to back. It's quite a busy first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the um, improv. Mm. You had all these little games we did. They brought some actors in, and I think yeah. it's just for us to be able to also a like icebreaker for us to get to know each other better yeah, as well, yeah, that was yeah. the whole point of it, which was really good. Food was good, lots and lots of food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> food, drink, excellent coffees. And the nice thing is they gave us a tour around the YouTube space and just seeing all the facilities available was yeah. amazing. Seeing all the recording rooms and the access that you actually can have to some of the equipment if you want to create content there as well. So day one flew by. So we finished day one. Oh, are we crossing the road? We finished day one of YouTube Next Up Boot Camp. What time do love? Uh, Eight thirty p.m. It's late. Look, the time. It's late. Mom and Daddy are still out. You know, tell you what, me and Sam realised how old we are when <laughs> some of the some of the creators were like, "All right, guys, let's head out. Let's go out tonight." Some of them went shopping, and I was like, eh? <laughs> "Shopping." Me, I just want to go and hit bed. my bed and sleep <laughs> and actually sleep. Oh my gosh! So we had a really nice dinner, and now we're just walking off. It's not too far walk from the YouTube space to our hotel. And it's a nice night to walk. <laughs> and then we're ready for day two. two yeah. So what are you on day two? Uh, lighting. Yeah, that was a real eye opener. Camera exposure, ISO numbers, and that kind of stuff, <laughs> apertures. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of learning about cameras yeah. and learning that I shouldn't be shooting on automatic <laughs> all the time. Yeah, how much difference doing. it makes, like when you actually know what you're doing and the adjustments you can make to the camera instead of just being on auto all the time. Yeah, Sam's going to take over that, so you're going to hopefully yeah. see some real sketchy, changes some in the stuff. videos <laughs> soon. <laughs> hey guys! So, so, it's now day two, two of YouTube Next Up. Yes, there was an amazing day. It was um, a lot. It was. It was <laughs> a lot to take. Well, I mean, especially for me, my, <laughs> you know, the learning curve is huge. Um, so today it's another packed day, and we're just everyone's still having breakfast, and we're just about. To, what we're we going into this morning? We're going to learn about cameras. Cameras. I'm camera really, workshop. I love the fact that Sam I'm is so pumped I'm now. Because I'm, I'm learning so much. I love learning. <laughs> it's weird because now it's like you're in an environment where everyone else is a creator, and it's like really different for you. But he's taking it on so well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna learn about different kind of cameras. I think we're gonna learn about like the settings. Yeah, you don't just switch it on and press record. Apparently. Who is this? Who's this? Hey, Hello. I, I meant to go around to introduce everyone. This is Jasmine, mm -hmm. who's part of the camp. What's your channel name? All that jazz. What's it about? Beauty, lifestyle, vlogs. So if you're interested, beautiful. check it out. I'm gonna go around and interview or introduce you to a lot of the other creators. I'll put details down below. Okay. You see, everything's rush, rush. It's off to another I session. So, <laughs> bit, so where were we? <laughs> So we're going to learn a ton about yeah, cameras, cameras, basically. Yeah, some ex the production experts are in there. They tell us everything we need to know about. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting on exposure. automatic every time. Yeah, exposure. 
f-stop all the stuff I've seen oh, like yeah. the whole they've got this huge PowerPoint presentation basically but all those numbers in your camera that you don't know what they mean <laughs> they're gonna explain it to us today so yeah let's see how it goes and here's somebody else <laughs> this is mama Hi. mama cherry hello everybody and what is your channel about mama cherry mama cherry we do cooking I do live stuff I gotta go okay all right, so we now have to head off to the next session literally it's just go 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 so we'll see you in a bit bye <laughs> You can see this F number stop, which is 3.2. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if I increase the number, see it's getting darker. And now you, I can focus at the back and the front. Hey guys. What's up? So we have just come out of the camera production session. Yeah. I like information. Overload. <laughs> I kind of realized how much I do not yeah. know about cameras considering how long I've been using them for. And really good, I mean obviously a big part of YouTube is yeah. cameras and videography. So it's really good for us to really get a hands-on session and yeah, just get yeah. a lot more detailed knowledge about how to use cameras. So where are we off to next? Yeah, so we're going to product session, YouTube oh, okay. products. This what sure I was, that is. Basically, I always tell Sam whenever I filmed and edited, he's like, "Is video live? Is video live?" Yeah. I'm like, "I cannot make a video live." It just gets on there, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? What's the big deal? A bit like... of editing and it's on there. I just tell him there's so many things I need to do: upload the thumbnail, do the tags, do the title, description box, right, and so he yeah. never really gets that. So, hopefully, this session shall be a learning, learning another curve. Learning, learning I'm curve. I'm still going up that learning curve, so. Maybe Wish me luck. So well. I'm Thanks, so proud baby. Of you. Like, let's, let's see if I make it through. <laughs> I think like just being here has really just opened my eyes a bit more to more of the insider. Yeah. I guess I can a weekend produce better content for you guys. So um, I'm excited. I'll admit I'm getting. I wouldn't say tired, but it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Like I've been writing so many notes, and I'm just hoping that I'll really be able to apply it. But yeah, we need to head over to the next session. It's literally go go go. Oh, that's a big kiss. Oh, I caught it. Hello, baby. Ah. Hey, guys. So we are now at another session, which is for lighting. And we're in our different groups. Oh, I forgot to mention, we've actually been separated into groups. Yeah, and we were like in different groups. Yeah, they put Sam yeah, and I separate. They split us up. We were across the room, <laughs> and she was constantly giving me eyes. I was like, oh, man's busy. I'm like, I'm trying to take notes. To be honest, it was nice seeing Sam just in his element. I mean, obviously, we're really close. But we always just like did the same thing and now being given the opportunity to be in different groups and Sam picked up so many things from his team and I did from yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of competition there. <laughs> it just added to us just learning and growing. I think at first I was like, um, I have nothing to contribute to this team. <laughs> this is my wife's channel. I'm a YouTube husband. Don't ask me for anything. But you started like that. I noticed you kept on saying, oh, I'm a YouTube husband. I don't know anything. But you see, it's the days progress. I just really give you so much credit. You started taking so much I became more control. My own man. Yeah. yeah, you started saying, "Yeah, our channel, be yeah, on the yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah, is our yeah. channel." Like, <laughs> which I love. And my opinion, yeah. what I want to do. So. And you continue to bring so much great yeah, insight into the channel. You, thank you. Oh, no worries, yeah. baby. Sorry. You learned so that a lot. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. That was really good. And then they had the panel. We had yeah. the panel. So we had a few panels which were based on the team who were there, who we yeah. got to know over like the first day. Ended the night with heading out to dinner. So we finished all the sessions for the day. It was an intense day, but it was really good. Learned so much. We had some round table discussions, some Q and A's, and we learned about cameras and lighting. And now we're heading off from the YouTube space. And I'm in a taxi with some lovely ladies from the YouTube team. And how are we doing? <laughs> and now we're heading, where are we going? Covent Garden? Covent Garden yeah. to Bunga Bunga? Bunga Bunga? Yeah. yeah. It's like pizza place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna eat pizza. They took us to a pizza place, yeah, and where we had to make our own pizzas, which was so much fun. Hello, my gorgeous. Hi. And my name is Viviana, and I'm really excited to be here. Yes, excited to be here. Well, welcome. We love it. We love it. And I just could see you should make intentional steps to. Not only just let us have a good time and learn about, you know, camera and lighting and 
all the you know intense stuff that it takes to grow yeah. and develop a channel but also just encourage us to get to know each other yeah better. yeah that collaboration um, yeah, yeah you know these guys have literally become like friends to us now and i just think that's a beautiful thing and it's hard to achieve that in such a short space of time and i think youtube enables us to achieve that by literally putting us in so many activities that really encourage us to get close together after that it was then day three one of my favorite favorite workshops of all it was called I am remarkable and I think for me it was very special because we had to come and tell you know our group and including so many other people there mm. why we feel like we're great or we're remarkable and it, I think it was hard because especially for me I'm not used to yeah. speaking like that and I found that one quite challenging because a, sometimes I get a little bit shy when it comes to public speaking. Yeah, I know. And you're really like humble and modest, aren't you? Oh, thanks. You don't, like, you don't like bigging yourself up. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that, but I'm not very good at that. You know, on this channel, I just kind of, you know, share as I go along. My personality type isn't about, look at me and everything I've yeah. done and blah, blah, blah. And it, was, it wasn't about that, but it was just about us not being shamed to really share what we've achieved and really be proud of ourselves. Um, some of the things I've overcome in my life is an eating disorder. I'm remarkable because I do have a learning difficulty, dyslexia and dyspraxia, and I was told very early on I wouldn't be able to achieve very much. I'm remarkable that I do work as a dentist and we have three young children who are all five and under. And I'm remarkable because they were pretty big kids. My twins were 16 pounds combined. Whoa! And uh, I survived. <laughs> start YouTube and given up because I just thought it's too difficult to do it and um, I'm off because I continued with it and I've been given opportunities like this so I'm really grateful for I just didn't give up there were times when I thought nah I can't do this <laughs> that's it mm. just that whole gratitude thing because sometimes you know you can look at your channel and think oh it's not growing or I haven't done anything and I definitely go through that with my channel. Yeah, so yeah, see yeah. me many times where I just have like my head cupped in my hands and he's like, watch front and I just like think it's all going wrong. I just want to quit YouTube, nothing is working, channel's not growing, it's too stressful. Yeah. Um look at this person on YouTube, you know, it's so easy to compare. And um I Yeah, but I mean for for me or for everyone who's looking out on the outside, we look at you and we think like you are remarkable, you know, like what yeah. you've uh, achieved, like with the grace of God it's it's absolutely amazing, you know, and yeah, so I guess because you are very modest and, you know, quite humble, you don't, you don't really think about that, you know, yeah. sometimes that can get lost, but I think you have a lot to be, Thanks to be well. proud of, you know, so yeah, yeah, you are remarkable, and I think for everyone, just try no, it, everyone's you know? remarkable, yeah, you, everyone talks everybody, about yeah, just watching this video, think about it, and write down like three or four things, why you're remarkable, mm -hmm. and just hold on to that, hold on to your story, and just be grateful for those things. I always went down the wrong path, but um, because of my faith in God, I think God has always looked after me and he has brought me from what is in the West considered as abject poverty to a position where I'm very comfortable. Um, I'm married to a beautiful woman who has introduced me to this uh, YouTube community. She pushes me every day, makes me better. So I'm remarkable because I'm a father to three amazing children. Uh, apart from my marriage, they are, bar none, the greatest achievement and accomplishment in my life and it's a privilege just to uh, watch them grow up and, and go through life and, uh, you know, hopefully do much better than I've done. What's up, what's up people? It's day three. Yes, it's day three. Big Sam still alive. The YouTube thing, I'm in the YouTube space. Um, I've snuck out because you know what it's like, man has to chill, it's all getting a bit heavy, content, storytelling, storyboarding, I did storyboards in GCSE, I can't share what grades I got, anyway I came out here to chill, snuck out and they've actually got a green room, it's actually green, look at that, it's, it's 
It's faux plants though, they're not, they're not real, they look cool. Big screen TV, stick your clothes on there. I'll put all my Gucci stuff on there to change it. <gasps> What's this? Who's this? Hey baby. What up love, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just touching up my makeup. <laughs> I was supposed to be in here solo, what are you doing in here? How's the day been? Good, how are you finding it? Oh, I don't got any makeup on. Yeah. I had to like rub it all off and why are you all right like i said it was a very emotional day already they have a quiet room and they told us about this on day one and you know when they give all the announcement fire exits are here yeah, blah blah yeah, here yeah. and they said oh there's a quiet room or prayer room if or meditation room they called it i thought why do you need that room like <laughs> quiet <laughs> me <laughs> i'm hard i'm hard obviously you know pray in the morning and everything but yeah. i thought why would they put a room here for people to just like yeah. zone out like surely we're all here to you know we're get as it. much yeah. information as possible in this short amount of time but burnout is real guys i think by the third day it was just information no like discredit to youtube a lot of it's just you know it's this buzz of being so excited to be there just wanting to soak it all in knowing it's not that long wanting to see everyone and be friends with everyone and there's a lot of numbers and you know it gets real they really do break down strategy and what youtube is and what you know we should be doing on the platform i think for me especially as the kind of creator i am where i'm like you know i kind of create as i'm led kind of thing um it was it kind of side game very overwhelming for me and um i guess i'd say i almost had a little I'd say meltdown <laughs> but yeah I got a little upset and obviously missing the kids and everything as well and that whole you know mum guilt and everything was just kind of piling on top of each other so I remember asking the um our host oh can I use a quiet room please she's like yeah sure and she's told me like loads of people have used it already and I was like are you serious <laughs> I thought it was only me who wanted it hey guys so I'm just in the green room slash quiet room I'm with Sam and um I just come to have a little bit of downtime and actually just redo my face again because I've been crying. And this day was, I would say, one of the most intense days. Yeah. And it, it definitely lived up to the hump day name, Wednesday. I think because there's so much to do before I came here, I had all these ideas oh, I'm going to vlog every day, take pictures, do snaps, and share with you guys what I'm doing. Not to shop, just to, you know, just let you see what's going on here and then I just found that I didn't have the energy the time the sessions were so intense and it got to where I was kind of take out some of my frustration on Sam like this is all off camera and um, that's what men's for in husbands <laughs> sometimes you have to be a punching bag just roll the punches <laughs> but it's crazy because I just know how fortunate we are to be here and I just start saying we need to do this we need to do that and I didn't I took a lot for granted that this is such a big learning curve for mm. you as well and how proud I am of you being here and the support that you've really given me here because um oh, I don't know if it makes sense because you almost have to be here to experience it. It really is what it says, it is a boot camp. Yeah, and just in and one out, quick yeah. break in the next one. And just very intentional um what do you call them? Sessions, lectures. It's not just like you sit there, they're really interactive. Burnout started hitting me and obviously missing the kids, even though we're speaking to them on video chat and I'm so jealous because Sam is about to head off. Yeah, yeah, it's going to see them. He's going to go home and see the babies and just check on how they're doing. And I wanted to go, but Sam was just like, you stay, you hold the fort. I'll, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I feel I'm just full of emotions right now and just <laughs> it's weird that was great you thanks for everything thank you um yeah i think maybe that's why i'd share with you guys in terms of being here just be prepared for that and maybe a tip would be go to the quiet room earlier if you get a chance to just feel yourself getting a bit worn out tensions are rising or you just feel like your attitude's changing it might just mean you need to rest and it took me till today to realize that and um, I just kind of broke down crying and that's why I'm so that's why I everything off my face so I went in there and then um, just had some time of prayer and had a little cry session as well and Sam came in and just encouraged me and yeah 
and then I was back. I was back in the game. You're ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. So I'm just in the next session and Sam is heading home. He's going to be with our babies. I'm so jealous. Sure. Bye, baby. And so we had more workshops, intense workshops on YouTube, on strategy, on marketing. And we had panelists come in, so they invited some other creators to come in. Yeah. And so it's really inspiring to see other creators who have been where you were, who have obviously moved on and are really successful in what they do and just come back and give back. There was really some great nuggets of wisdom there. Yeah. And they brought back some creators from the previous oh, Next yeah, Up, yeah, yeah, like yeah, Next Up yeah. alumni. Yeah. So they had two of the women from last year who were in Women on the Rise and they just Hey, Caleb, you have to play there then, okay? Okay. All right, Caleb is back. <laughs> Hopefully this will work with him. Um, so it's great because they brought back other creators from... <laughs> hey, hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. It's great because they brought back other creators from last year, the previous Next Stop, and I think for us that was a really big boost because yeah. they just kind of encouraged us. How important is authenticity to you guys? Like being true to yourselves? Very, 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 yeah. You can't really sustain a YouTube channel if you're not being real. Yeah. When you're not being yourself, you have to be <coughs> pretense yeah. all the time, it's exhausting. The emails I was receiving from women around the world, and also men, is how they felt. In a normal job, you work 9 to 5 and you work consistently, you take a 30 minute break, but now that you work for yourself, you want to take a 5 hour break and only work for yourself for 2 hours. You have to put in the same amount of work to see results that other people are seeing and see even more yeah. results. And when you face like no obstacles, just remember no just means next opportunity. And just keep yeah. going. Take it down, master. <laughs> YouTube is so beautiful because it's not like TV. We actually speak back to you. Yes. Like it's actually such a, a beautiful space and we just need to like really appreciate it, you know? And thousand, ten thousand, just keep doing you and you know that like, it'll Know that the numbers will come, but don't chase the numbers. Do not chase the yeah, numbers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you all. So then. They took us out to dinner again, actually. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's really good food. It really yeah. sport us, so yeah. we went to a really fancy restaurant and um, ate out that night, which was fun. Next it was day four. So that day was pretty much production, production, production. Yeah, yeah. Which is all the stuff we've learned from day one to day three. And now they're like, okay, go and put into practice. Hey guys, so it is day four of camp, of YouTube camp. And every day they put on the board our agenda for the day. So it is, let's get that in focus. It is now Thursday and it's still a very packed day, it's not as detailed as it usually is, but we've got video production challenge in the morning and the afternoon where we're basically just ooh, sorry, where we're basically just spending most of the day working on our videos in our groups and implementing all the amazing tools and things that we've learned during the week. I'm really excited because now we actually I guess get to do the practical hands-on bit and get creative. And what I'm really excited about today is really encouraging us to learn about collaboration because we're just gonna all get together we all have different ideas of the kind of video we want to produce but I know as it says we are better together and by doing something as a group we'll be able to produce something that's really going to reflect each of our own individual styles but also kind of content that's hopefully going to make something really beautiful I'm just going to introduce you to another creator who is here and part of the next Hello. up you this really yourself, captures the light properly. I really like this camera. You like this one? What do you yeah, use? Yeah, I'm kind of... I don't, I don't have money like you, so... What do you use? This boy is funny. This Screaming. boy is really funny. And look how fashionable he is. Whoa. Um, Every I'm, day. This is a bummy day. This is a bummy day? Yeah, like... Uh, but anyway, hi guys. <laughs> I'm a he's, um with a self-titled channel called a he's, And um, yeah... What's your channel about? Uh, um, <laughs> lifestyle, fashion and entertainment. Exactly. Fashion. I'm not surprised. Woo! 
But yeah, um, it's really been a great week and today's been extremely tired. We've been filming in our groups and stuff. And I just really want to sleep, but we don't get to sleep because we're going back to the hotel to film. It's literally like, no, you're filming again tonight? Yeah, because we've got like, so as in not my groups, but like individuals. Some of us, like the younger ones are collabing because obviously... Do you hear what he said, the younger ones? What does that mean? Who am I? Am I old? No, because we're like the ones that are students. Okay. The younger ones. So. You're young and fabulous, honey. Oh, Yummy mummy! <laughs> Oh my god. It's really nice just to see a huge range of ages and interests interests and seasons and the fact that we can still all be really good friends, we I'm can really collaborate and we can relate. It's been amazing and I have so much respect for you guys who are doing it in university while you're studying because I just think to myself, guys, I'm also trying to stay alive. Same, in uni. that's what we're trying to do but then we're staying alive on YouTube which is really... <laughs> <laughs> Which I wouldn't advise, but we do what we do. So what advice would you give? I'm not sure if I do have quite a few young creators, not young creators, some young right. audience who watch as well. What would you advise anyone who's younger who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel? I'd think start. Like, don't be scared thinking, oh my God, how am I going to do it? If you really, like, sort yourself out, organize yourself, I think that's the main thing, kind of, like, to organize shooting time, editing time. You should have a busy reading. schedule. It's crazy. Like it's actually crazy, but I definitely say don't be discouraged and definitely um, seek for help. So there's people that have done it that you might know. There's people that you can genuinely just reach out to. If you know someone that knows how to edit, don't be ashamed to say, oh, can you sit me down and teach me? Because I feel like a lot of us have this like kind of like pride of I want to do on my own. I really want to, you know, have that story of I started on my own. I'm finishing on my own. But there's actually comfort in Reaching community. Out. Community, yeah. Yeah. But that's that. That's my nugget of the die. Oh, you're if you such enjoyed a it, smart man. I wouldn't say. I feel like that was yeah. a little TED talk. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> and I've got another amazing creator to show you. Hi. Oh, okay, I like about her. We are literally. Well, we're quite tall. We're quite tall. I'm a bit taller, I think. <laughs> had a debate like this with another lady who's like almost my height because usually yeah. it's like clear as day yeah my friends are like this literally, literally but when literally, I saw I her relate. I was like oh I we have the same and we're both wearing flats literally flat shoes all the wait six one yeah I'm 6'1". So like maybe 6'1 and a half. Six yeah, maybe I'm 6'1 and a half. Who's taller? Who's taller? I feel so shoulders. Oh my gosh, you are taller than me. Tell us about your channel. Um, okay, well, my name is Naya Talks on YouTube and I'm kind of having fun on my channel. I do beauty and entertainment. Um, I study maths at the University of Leicester. I'm just kind of really grateful to be here. I've met so many amazing people like Viviana and her husband and stuff, so it's just been cool. I think sometimes I've been in a little bit of a parenting bubble or just a bubble of people like my age or do what I do yeah. and then coming here just realizing there's gamers yeah. there's channels like yours which are everything I know beauty and myself popular but you do do a lot of chatty videos yeah. there's just so I'll many just different talk. things some people yeah. just like comedy just rants for real like just <laughs> and that's a whole channel you know just, just express yourself exactly however way you express yourself whether it's via gaming whether it's via art whether there's it's space for TV. everyone yeah there's issues space for everybody exactly YouTube space and I will put your <laughs> and someone said yes I think it was Brittany she said don't forget what she said, the you. Were you here for that talk? No, I don't think I was. You oh. put the you in YouTube. You put the you in it's YouTube. True. So it's all about being yourself. And 100%. Like there's no other creator like you. Like even, there's nothing new under the sun, but the way you present it and the way you go about it is what is new. Because it's only you that can do it that way. And just like he said as well about learning from who, one thing I'm learning from this young lady, because she is a teenager, <laughs> from, is um, she's a little entrepreneur, already started some businesses. Mm -hmm. So I'm just really proud of her, just realizing that there are young black entrepreneurial creators who are very smart and yeah. really getting ahead of the game. And Expand and diversify your income, it's very important. <laughs> Multiple streams of yeah. income. Yes, yeah, very, very important. Like, you just gotta set the foundation now, plant all your seeds, no matter how small, whether it's just an idea, it's just a dream, jot it down. And like, life is very dynamic, so don't ever have static plans. Like, you don't know what is gonna happen to you and when, but you know, this is where you're gonna get, and you're gonna get there regardless. Just remember that. So we've talked about business here, we've even talked about relationships here. <laughs> My little, my little system advice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Are good men, good godly men out there. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you single, boo? Yeah, yeah are you single. Okay, I've got so. A degree to face. I actually don't have time, so don't holler me. <laughs> he said nope. <laughs> he actually said I don't have time for relationships because I'm studying. Yeah, sorry. Okay, what do you do? You graduate? 
when uh, masters masters See? youtube masters you can do all of do it all. you just have to you be you just organized go and sacrifice your sleep <laughs> 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 i feel like that part should be said <laughs> <laughs> we don't sleep that's honestly we don't sleep. Don't sleep we actually like, don't honestly like especially this week impossible <laughs> <sleep. laughs> we're taking power naps during the day <laughs> yeah like we'll no, see that's me. i can be in a conversation and i would see you see me on the couch lying down like no, 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 i, 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 I fell asleep at dinner yeah at nine o'clock yeah so um when we get back tonight next thing you know i heard nothing for like five minutes yeah huh yeah i look I was honestly. I said, oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see you guys soon. And take care. Bye. Bye. So, Sam and I were really not together that much the whole day. My name is Sam. Because he was with his team, I was with my team, and we we're now creating content we were going to show on the final day and it was an opportunity for us to showcase all the stuff we learned on lighting on audio camera setup and work together as a team and there was so much involved in it and it was just nice brainstorming with everyone yeah. you see now more than ever why we're called creatives yeah. i definitely like that title a lot more than influencer to be honest because it does take a level of creativity to put out content and you know how I would have done it is different to how someone else would have done it. It was a whole day of just filming. I kept on peeking on Sam, <laughs> see how he's getting on. Yes, Sam. Hey guys, so it has been an amazing day, another busy busy day. But what I want to do is make sure I introduce you to some of the creators here. And I've got a lovely Miss Kesha here. She's actually the one, I wish you could see it, she's in my highlight. She's in my highlight. Highlight, highlight. When one of the creators is a makeup guru, you are like, yes! But I'll introduce herself and her channel. Hello everyone, I'm Kesha. My YouTube channel is Kesha East. I'm part of the Be Honest production group on the YouTube Next Up. I'm so glad we're in the same team. This is amazing. I do makeup, beauty, lifestyle videos, so yeah, check me out, guys. So, finally day five. Yes. So this is the final day and another, I'm going to say the word packed, because it was <laughs> packed. So we started off the day with an amazing surprise, which was where the organisers got us all together and you know gave us a really big encouragement towards us how well we'd done during the week, we were able to give feedback, and then they did a presentation of this. This amazing jacket. Ooh. <laughs> See, it says the next up, that's 2019. Hey. And what is this crew from me? It's going to have your channel name. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 And that's Viviana. Oh. Yeah. See, I knew I should have bought that jeans today. Our jackets, which are absolutely amazing. Yeah, what do you think of really your cool. They're really cool, yeah. The only thing is that it didn't have my name on it. it just <laughs> like, we need to change the channel name. Get my name on that stuff. Hmm. Speaking of that channel name, maybe. I'm all in now. We're it's a team. We're a team. It's not just your it's channel. Not, it's not more Viviana and yeah. family kind yeah, of thing. Get my name in there. Yeah, that's actually something we've And been. my full name plus my Yoruba name as well. <laughs> that's true. It's funny. That's something we've been discussing. Um, I guess going forward, because it is very much a family channel. I know I'm always like, my channel, my channel, but we'll save that for another time. But yeah, it was just nice and yeah, yeah, rocking the jackets. Yeah, you should really want us to know, not to make our heads grow or anything, but just really want to remind us you are creators, you are star. We believe in you. I think everyone was equally pleasantly surprised. It's a great start to the day. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so it is the last day of YouTube Next Up. Just want to introduce you to another member of the team hello, well hello. i should say team he's another creator as well he's part of the youtube next up gang class of 2019 let's see your jacket and your name on the back there we go so that's his channel hi my name is sam day i am a marketing consultant so i help entrepreneurs who have a product or a service bring it to life and um, generate more income through it and do it full time awesome and why would what advice would you give to aspiring 
YouTubers, creators. I just love the variety of creators here. It's unbelievable just seeing people doing so many different things. What advice would you give someone who's thinking of starting a channel or doing what you do? Um, my first piece of advice if you're starting a YouTube channel or if you have some sort of idea is to stay in the game. It's super key. It's like you might feel like oh, I've only got 10 subscribers or I've only got one client or I'm not generating any sales or whatever it is but if you stay in the game if you stay consistent and don't give up you're going to see success keep pushing forward through the hard days when nothing seems like it's working and you'll get there eventually love that thank you awesome. alright so we'll see you in a bit Bye. see ya so today we're editing I was like a sponge I was taking it all in because for me, that was a stage where the learning curve was steep because this that was the bit where you would do everything, right? The production stuff. Yeah, and then, I guess so. Yeah, so I was Sam's like, used to being in the vlogs, and yeah. then he's like, "Peace out." I, was like, well, I don't know how the it's going to get edited. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to get from the camera to YouTube, but I know you're going to do it, babe. And now he's in a group where it's like, "All right, Sam." Get in, the, get in the kitchen, <laughs> yeah. see, see how it's all made. And there were no egos. You know, I thought, oh, these creative people, they'll clash. No, no egos, it was collaborative. And people even taught you, which yeah, I thought yeah, was yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It wasn't like, oh, let's do it my way. It was kind of like, I like this, let's bring in some of your ideas, and bring in your ideas, and just create something great, mm -hmm. which was... Uh, which was excellent really. And then we went into our screening, it's pretty much yeah. back to back. So today's the screening, we're going to screen what we've worked on, I don't know if you can hear me, what we've worked on in our individual groups. So it's going to be up on there, but I just want to show you the room. It's literally been the most amazing experience It has, I can't believe ever. it's over. I really can't, I can't wait to see the screening. I have a dream. I have a dream that content creators that look like me are accepted and can excel in the entertainment industry without having to change their image. I have a dream that all women will have the confidence to walk in their God-given purpose, believing that they can be a great mum, wife, boss, homemaker, friend, and pursue their dreams too. I have a dream to inspire fearless individuality in a safe space where we do not mock, but rather uplift and encourage. I have a dream that one day I'll inspire a generation to believe and achieve their dreams. I have a dream that all women will not be measured by the same beauty standards across the board. That we challenge the notion and stereotype of what we are supposed to be. A history built on determination, blood, sweat, Fears and tears. A dream that one day, it won't matter where you're born or what resources you have, you can achieve greatness. That we will embrace and be uplifted for our differences. A dream that you don't need to change yourself to be beautiful. I have a dream. That one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of this creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men. That all women are created equal and let us stand united, otherwise we will fall divided. Let us never settle for a life that is less than the one that we are capable of living. I have a dream. I have a dream. <laughs> come on, G. Oh, come on, G. Oh, come on, G. Do you want to be on stage, please? How did you, how did you work together? Because all of the channels were so different, I remember us having a conversation in the hangout, like, every channel so different, what are we going to do? The moment where it got crazy in the editing room, everyone, yeah. everyone, it got mad. I think it definitely taught me um, the beauty of collaboration, and just seeing how different people can bring so much to the plate. We got to watch all the other groups screen, what they had produced, and you guys did a fantastic job. You know what, everyone did a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah. Community, the ability to feel comfortable, confident and included in a space that you value and identify with. To be able to find comfort with each other whilst relating with one another on and offline. To embrace new voices, trust new ideas and combine our energies to create something unique. Community is to share our challenges and experiences, to learn from each other and rise together. 
Community is taking pride in our identity and understanding that our diverse cultures unite and strengthen us. For me, it was eye-opening because I work solely by myself all the time, doing absolutely everything. It's weird how all the videos were so different, mm -hmm. just like great in their own way. And, you know, Sam's input in his content, I was like, hmm. So my husband is a creative. <laughs> yeah, he's actually he's useful. He's a closet creative. <laughs> and then afterwards, Sam said a few things, which was nice and very sweet. Oh, um, oh, yeah, when we like spoke after, we, there was like a little question and answer thing. Everyone obviously knows my situation. Uh, for the people that don't. <laughs> No, 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 that's not where I'm going. Um, so I'm not technically a content creator. My wife really does 95% of the work. Um, I'm also from a project background where, you know, 90% of the decisions are made by the guy who's paid the most in the room. And, you know, everyone know who, anyone who does projects knows about storming, forming, norming, performing, all that stuff. So I thought, these creative people, what's it going to be like? You know, there are going to be issues, you know, with ideas, people butting heads. So when we got into all the creative stuff, I kind of sat back at first and I thought, okay, let's see how this goes. Who's going to fight? And that storming, forming phase was just like, just like that. You know, it was like everyone's known each other for ages and everyone brought me into it quite easily. When we did the editing, I've never, I didn't even know what Premiere Pro and the other one is but and a couple of times you know Lav would be like you click on this blue thing you drag it to there and I'll click on the wrong thing and it was like ah, what did you do do it don't do that don't do that I know so for me I kind of really enjoyed that whole process you know and um, it, it definitely inspired me you know I'm so proud of this that the fact that I came you know we could have been on holiday in Spain mm -hmm. but I'm so glad uh, we compromised that She's going to pay me some money for that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really motivated. You know, this is really inspiring. I'm going to do more and hopefully, you know, take take the channel further. So yeah, it's been great. I might get to... Everyone thinks that. Voiceovers are so good. Really? You should get into like, I don't know, voiceovering. Hands up, anyone thinks I can get into voiceovering. Of course you can. You can do whatever you So I basically don't have the face for... Oh. <laughs> That's what everyone's saying. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Then it was the graduation ceremony. The cool thing they had at the ceremony, which I absolutely loved, they had these cupcakes. So 12 cupcakes for each channel, and the cupcakes had our picture on it. That's and then ours went missing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll come back for that. Everyone kind of knew their cupcake. And I blinked, and someone else was eating our cupcake. It's not a big deal. You know how it is, guys? It's just nice to see. Um, yeah, those little touches. Those that, little touches yeah. that always remind you, oh my gosh, someone sees what you're doing and values it. They got an MP in to come speak to us, just some more encouragement and to the presentation of the certificates and it was proper official guys, you know, gown, yeah. hat, the whole lot, yeah. um, which was nice. I think that's when we all knew, gosh, that's it guys. Yeah, and it was almost like a lot of motivation, you know, put wind in your sails, but mm -hmm. then it was like, there's some pressure to... Some pressure, some emotion, like, yeah, oh my to... gosh, bye guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and just like go out there and, and produce. It just reminds me of everything that I've worked hard for, that you know we've worked hard for, and by the grace of God, to just get to this point, it was such a big relief. <laughs> 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 Okay guys, so that is a wrap, pretty much the end Unbelievable. It's been amazing. Yeah, it has. It's been unbelievable. I feel so knowledgeable now. I came in, I came in so green. Now, now I know so much. Yeah. He knows a lot now. But yeah, it's been mind-blowing. We've met fantastic people most of all. They're also creators, but they're fantastic people. Lovely people. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be exciting. Goodbye, next up, 2019. Yeah. And good luck, class of 2020. Yes, Whatever you're doing. Yeah, it's 20 going to be amazing. <laughs> Enter it. It's an amazing, it's it an really amazing is. camp. Yeah. We never do this for credit of anyone. You know, our channel is about faith, about family, about fun, but ultimately about bringing God glory. So you do this for an audience of one, but God has a way of just um, 
every so often just reminding you that you know I see you I see your efforts and I see what you're doing privately and I will honor you publicly and I think that's what it felt like yeah, to be honest yeah, yeah. in that moment it was just like this God moment like God thank you thank you I'm not gonna let it get to my head mm. but thank you thank you God so then after that it was a party, party. <laughs> like, the issue space was like turned over into a next up party good evening everybody <laughs> And they invited a ton of other creators over. There was a DJ, and the whole place was just revamped. And you know, and mum and dad got down, you Pulling know, some shapes. <laughs> <laughs> we did some dance moves. We we showed that we went we weren't too old just yet. Yeah, exactly. What until joints? about ten o'clock, and then I started, yeah, yeah, and started it was getting like tired. <laughs> we want to go to bed, even though there was then an after party. Oh man, they're yeah, like Sam, baby, you want to come to Camden that, for the after that, party? We're like, that. we see you. We'll yeah, see you yeah. there. Have We're fun. just gonna go to our room and <laughs> um get ready and sleep. <laughs> But no, it was cool. So that was fun and that was the end, I guess. So then it was back home. To see our kids. To see our kids. Yeah. And it was just so emotional seeing them. Give them the biggest hug, brought them some gifts. Because when you're away from your kids from that long, I always bring them little gifts whenever we go away. So they were excited. They are excited to just hear what we were up to yeah. and just retelling it again to them. One of them, you know, saying, oh, well done, mummy. But then it was like, no, well done us. You know, guys, this is our family. This is our family yeah. team. And yeah. we did it. And then... Um, of this moment of excitement and buzz around it and it was just lots of family time after that um yeah she was yeah. just constantly hugging the kids yeah <laughs> just holding them and you know what it is when you've been away from your baby so long i was just like smothering them with kisses it was a great end to a fantastic week you know i hope you know you got an insight into what we're doing and how you know it's fantastic the whole next start project is i think for this i just wanted to encourage anybody who is thinking of applying to apply one you just never know and if you're not sure if it's worth it i think for us once we'd applied and you know i got in my next question was is it worth it is it worth losing a holiday over it is it worth taking a whole week off work is it really worth you know a lot of the sacrifices we had to make with three young children and childcare and guys it was a lot to try and sort out for a whole week to be away from our kids at that kind of notice but um the whole question was, was it worth it? Is it worth it? Like I said, we spoke about it, we prayed about it. I was able to ask some other people who'd done it before and then um, we made the conclusion it was worth it. And as people who've now been there, I would yeah. say to you, if you get the opportunity, it's it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's what you make of it. And yeah. like I said, we're gonna, we're, we're working on something, guys. We're working hard. <laughs> um, Sam is very much on board. Also blessed, you know, we've gained so much from it and we just feel like, because of that, we have so much more that we can share with you guys. So please bear with us, stick with us, support us, and by the grace of God, you know, we'll we'll just you know serve you guys better. It'd be a great community that we okay. have going. I think the number one quote, which I've mentioned quite a few times in the previous videos, which is something you reminded me of, is I want to see what happens if we don't give up. And yeah. um, this is definitely a fruit of not giving up and I want to say to you guys as well I want to see what happens if you don't give up yeah so just keep going keep going the doors will open at the right time so thank you so much for watching like share subscribe and all that good <laughs> stuff and we will see you guys in our next video thank you bye bye, bye. <laughs>